It is always inspiring to be surrounded by young, bright minds who have got great ambitions out there to change the world they live in with their passion. And I'm always inspired to have them come onto this show because I get first-hand experience. I have the Lazy Makoti with me tonight and she'll tell us a little bit more about what the Lazy Makoti is all about. Mokhao Seshwen, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I've been hearing so much about this Lazy Makoti. What is the Lazy Makoti? Um, so basically the Lazy Makoti um, is a company that we do cooking lessons primarily on South African cuisine. Okay. So we don't strictly just do, South African cuisine. Not strictly South African food, but that's our primary focus. Okay. Because that's how we start. Why? Why South African food? Um, so a friend of mine was getting married, and she knew that one of the expectations would be that she should l know how to make South African food. Yeah. Um, we look at Disa, so that would be one of the expectations. Um, fast forward to a few weeks, she's trying to find someone, a cooking school, to help her with that. And surprisingly, in South Africa, she couldn't find anywhere that offered that. There were plenty of places offering French or Italian or Asian. And, and we're African men. When I marry you, I want to marry a wife that can cook. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. Never mind my degrees and my <laughs> Yeah, the cooking part. As long <laughs> yeah. as my stomach is always full. I'm your husband, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> So um, after having looked or looking around, she then asked me, because she knew I had a great passion for cooking, did a few lessons with her, she then recommended a few other people and it literally just started snowballing from there. And what exactly do you guys do? What happens? So now in addition to the cooking classes, we also have a merchandise line of kitchen accessories. Okay. So that's everything from chopping boards to aprons to wooden spoons that all get lo made locally in Mamelodi, Pretoria. Okay. Yeah. And are you from Mamelodi? No, I'm actually from Polokwane. And, and, and what's your background? I mean, how did you get into entrepreneurship before? What were you doing before? Uh, so before this, I was an intern auditor. Um, quite unhappy in corporate, like most people. Like most entrepreneurs, <laughs> yeah? Well, yeah. like most people, actually. Like most people. Yeah. A lot of people don't love their jobs, Shen. You know, some of us practice our passion. We live our passion. Yes, yes, And free yes. yourself, man. Follow your passion. And build your own legacy. Mm. I think most importantly, um, you hear a lot that as, as Africans, we are um, a nation of consumers. And, and, and that's, um, that's disappointing that even now, we're still known to be those people mm. that consume and never create anything. So and I think now is the time. You've created this amazing vehicle. Mm -hmm. So if I find a beautiful sister out there who can't cook, but <laughs> I want to marry her, I can certainly relax and know that you're there. Yes. Um, and yeah. and how, how, how often are your classes, or is it a course, or how, how long does it take for an ordinary person to at least know different uh, meals and cuisines and so forth? Um, so we have a six-week course that we do. Um, we are still doing house calls. So you would um, engage us on either on social media or through our email, info at the Lazy Makoti, and then in the comfort of your own in kitchen, I will come and we will do our cooking lessons. Now on tonight's show, we've got um, the founder of the hookup dinner, yes. um, Lebu Mulifi, um, who has got this community that embraces and helps, empowers entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Now, let me not say you were discovered at the hookup dinner. Tell us about your experience. What happened? I know you were at the hookup dinner. You, what happened? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I went to the hookup dinner for the first time and I actually pitched my idea there. And then they ran a, a program called Lean Jump in partnership with a, a Kickstart, SAB Kickstart and Edge Growth. So I did that program together with Skinny, Skinny's Blue Socks yeah. and I ended up winning. Oh, you ended up winning. Yeah. And what did you win? I won a capital injection of 150k. Wow, and that's how you started your business? Yeah. Basically. And where do you conduct these uh, Lazy Makoti classes? Like I said, we're doing house calls. And now in addition to that, we have our own cooking show on channel 199. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how often? When it's fun, you can punt. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Here we're okay. We don't, we're entrepreneurial. We give people so, opportunities. Yeah. Thank you. So it is Monday. Monday's 8 o'clock on channel 199. It's called Cooks for Life. Okay, Cooks for Life. Yes. Monday, 8 o'clock, channel 199, DSTV, Cooks for Life. Yes. 8 p.m. every Monday evening, yes. Central African time. <laughs> yes. So now we're also in the process of getting out our recipe book, something that's really a great passion project for myself. Having gone back to culinary school, I, I, it hurts me so much that we learn so much about every, everybody's uh, food story, mm. if you will. So I know why French people eat the kind of bread that they do, how it evolved. I know all of those things. I don't know why we eat mohodu how that evolved, how we came to cook it the way that we do the, for the different kinds of occasions that we have it. Nobody knows any of these things and we are in Africa.
I'm really proud of you, Mokhaw. And how do people get in touch with you? Um, so you can reach me through social media at the Lazy Makoti Instagram and Twitter, the Lazy Makoti on Facebook, and through our email address, info at the Lazy Makoti. Info at the Lazy Makoti. Yes. Thank Dot you very com. much for joining us on the show. Thank you so much for having me.